welcome to the last of our morning devotions. It has been so fun to watch them all. Thank you to everyone who has submitted one that we have used on um, Facebook and YouTube just to provide some encouragement in the morning, you know, just to start someone's day the right way, looking at Jesus. You know, it's hard to summarize a thought and reflection on how beautiful and glorious God is in two minutes. And so people have tried their best and they have done beautiful, astounding jobs on just to show how beautiful God is through scripture and through their experiences with him. And so I just wanted today just look at a verse that through the whole premise of what I'm doing today is just to tell you to look and love Jesus. Look at Jesus a little bit more and love Jesus just a little bit more. He is so beautiful, so glorious that he deserves all of our attention and our affection. You know, in Psalm 85, it says, You, Lord, sh showed favour on your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquities of your people and covered all their sins. You set aside all of your wrath and turned from your fierce anger. You know, it's beautiful because this is just a foreshadow of what Jesus would do. A foreshadow of what Jesus would come and make possible for God just to not show wrath but show favour and like pay the price for all the sins and it, it reminded me so much in John 8 when Jesus is just giving this account and actually it's in this chapter where he says the words that would ultimately send him to the cross is he comes and he says I am that I am I am all of these things that the Old Testament says I am I am what my followers say I am I am he I am that I am I am Yahweh the word that Jews could not utter that is who he was he is the God that Psalm 85 talks about he is the God that Abraham Isaac and Jacob hoped for you know as we read in Hebrews 11 all of these titans of the faith of what they hoped for is him and he is there and he is standing in the flesh declaring to everyone whoever says that God that Jesus never stood and said he was God has never read the gospels he clearly says he's God and so through all of this I just want us to remember as good as all the devotions are and they have been amazing and they have been encouraging and they have been inspiring through all of it the only thing that matters is how beautiful glorious and holy is Jesus and so we need to remember that just as Jesus says I am the God of the Old Testament we need to remember there were 270 different names for God in the Bible each one a name that describes God in a person unique to a situation that may occur in someone's life he is a provider he is a healer he is a rebuker he is all of these things but so sensitive and beautiful and a saviour and the king of kings and the lord of lords and he is all of those things he is what you need him to be in your life situation look to him find him today speak to him enjoy him love standing and sitting and worshipping in his presence for he is worthy and we get to look on this God and we get to just spend time with him and it is so good and it is so glorious and it is so precious. I pray today that you just get to carve out some time just to sit with Jesus because that is all that matters ultimately. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope that you love Jesus a little bit more at the end of the day than when you started. Cheers guys.